So we know how to move it back, but how do we move forward to the end of a word in Vim? Well, that's what E is for. Welcome back to our series on Vim, covering the alphabet A to Z. I'm Chantastic, and today we're covering the letter E. Now, if you need to catch up, I'll put a link uh, probably in the card to the playlist, um, also in the description. I don't know where the best place to put those things is. So let's open up Vim, uh, not with a Y, Vim, and we're gonna open up our ellipsum.txt, and this just has two paragraphs of uh, lorem ipsum. Now, what does E do? E moves us to the end of a word. It moves us forward to the end of a word. So we hit E and that's going to go to the M in lorem. If we hit it again, it's going to the M in ipsum. Uh, and then again, you, you see what's what's going on here. It goes to the end of the next word. But if it is not at the end of a word, it's going to go to the end of that word. So if I go back just a little bit here and hit E again, it's going to go uh, to the end of dollar, uh, whereas if I'm already at the end of it, it's gonna go to the end of the next word. Now, this is the second motion we've learned. The other one was B, which uh, moves us back. Um, it, it's, it moves us back to the beginning of the word. Um, and just like E, if we're in the middle of a word, it goes to the beginning of that word as well. So, really fun. So now you know how to navigate by words going back and forward. There's also a capital version of this, and it behaves just like um, we learned in B, where if we hold Shift and do a capital E, uh, it's going to behave in all of these ones like we have explored, but it is going to behave differently in considering these uh, special characters like commas and periods. So this one, um, using capital E, goes to the comma. Uh, let's see, let's go back and use a uh, lowercase e, and that's gonna go to the T. So again, we'll use capital E and get to the period. Uh, we'll go back and hit a lowercase t, which takes us to the T. So lowercase t is going to not honor those special characters as part of the word. Um, uppercase E will honor those as part of the word, navigating you to those, um, those special characters. Uh, as always, if you need help, you can do colon H, um, which will take you to help. And uh, this document, just like B, is incredibly simple. Um, so it says forward to the end of a word. Um, you can do it count number of times, um, and it does not stop on an empty line. Um, and then this is moving forward to the end of a capital word, which includes those special characters. Just for the sake of fun, I just wanted to show you what it means to do something um, a number of times. So um, as you saw, I could just hit E and move by words. Uh, if I do two E, well, it's gonna jump two words. If I do five E, it'll jump five words. Now, this can be pretty complicated to master, um, but that is what it means when it says that you can move by a count of um, words. I haven't become very proficient at moving uh, words in paragraphs like this via count. Um, that isn't to say that you couldn't be though. So that's um, that's something to look into and see if that works for your workflow. Um, but that basically covers E. E is a very easy letter to, uh, to, to understand. Tomorrow we'll be covering F, which is a forward motion that has a search component to it. Uh, which is very interesting. So uh, I am excited to show it to you and I'll see you tomorrow.